Some are calling it a travel nightmare. What was uh, the traffic looking like coming back down? Hor about as horrible as it was driving up. While others say it could be worse. The way home is a lot easier. Everyone's moving. So it's a little slow, but it's moving. On the way back, it was much better. Either way, people driving home tonight from the path of totality in northern New Hampshire and Vermont say they spent hours in bumper to bumper, slow moving traffic, especially on I-93. Probably just before the notch and things really came to us. Not a dead stop, but a creep and a crawl. And, and you're looking at your GPS trying to figure out a way to get off, the high, get off a 93 to find something a little quicker and just everybody else was thinking the same thing. State officials say they predicted and planned for congested roads and longer ETAs. Traffic will be heavy. Yep. The same roads they came through. If they came through the notch, they'll be heavy there and down through hooks it. It'll be heavy there as well. And tonight, those traveling south say they experienced just that, not only heading home, but also on the way up north, while some say they didn't get as far as they'd hoped. We left 930 and we couldn't even make it to Lancaster. Still, people visiting from out of state say they made the most of this historic day. It's all good. It was an adventure and that's what we told ourselves. No matter what happens today, there were so many unknowns. We would uh, we would enjoy it. And so in light of the heavy traffic that we're seeing, that we have been seeing build up for the past few hours here in Hooksit, state officials want to remind drivers out there to take it slow, practice some patience, even though it can be frustrating. And they want people to expect heavy delays, 15 to 20 minutes, if you're in this specific area of the state. We're live in Hooksit tonight, Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.